I'm Kriya Gangya, and with me tonight we have in the commentary box Graham Hawkins and Neil Andrews. Joining me on stage is Steve Maba, Hope Mbele, Alex Cage, and Andrew Bond. And tonight we are going to be your hosts. It's so exciting to be back here. Very warm welcome to the third leg of Global Team Horse Racing, where the Cape Stingers are going to be taking on the Quazula Royals. I cannot believe how fast these series have been going. It's incredible. Last week, the Stingers eliminated the Gauteng Gajimas, to my dismay and to all well, the ladies' <laughs> happiness. <laughs> Listen, tonight's two teams will test strategy in preparation for the final happening right here on the 2nd of September. Oh, shame, Alex. <laughs> but this is the format that is about to shake up the world of uh, horse racing globally. So this is horse racing reimagined. It's team-based, fast-paced, and easy to understand. And of course, all about the fun of it. Although it's a team event, as we look at the teams, every single jockey is out there to ride to the best of his ability and the best of his mount's ability. So it's a team event, but all of the jockeys, when they participate, are trying to win the race. And uh, away they go. They fired away from the 1,200 meter mark, and Parke Mali didn't get away to the best of starts, and nor did Minstrel Gallery, and it's a sea of blue. They're lying one, two, three, and four. And out in front is Geronimo. Geronimo, the leader from Let Me Go. And they followed on the inside. Here's Parke Mali. And the captain, Mark Khan, making rapid headway down the inside. And has he timed it right? It's still Pake Imali coming down the inside. Pake Imali coming to grab. Let me go. Pake Imali, what a ride by the Stingers captain, Mark Khan, from well back. It is Pake Imali that has come through to win for the Stingers. But the Blues have had a good race because they have run second and third with Let Me Go and Geronimo. This is all teamwork. And uh, I got instructions in the parading what to do. I was a bit further back, but I never thought I'd ride for my mate Anthony and have a winner. Thank you. Just to remind our viewers that the Stingers are turbocharging race five for double up points and the Royals turbocharging race seven for double up points as Amarandi is the first to go in. 1,200 metres. Gates are back and they fired away and getting away really smartly down the centre of the track with Slalom Queen. As they come inside the lane now with 300 metres to go, Emma Randy on the outside, Rachel Venica, Karaluma down the inside, sashay away, big race this for the Singers, it's on the outside now, Emma Randy, sashay away, and Karaluma the far side, Karaluma, sashay away, sashay away, maybe a short head from Karaluma. And Emma Randy, what a titanic struggle. So this might yet go Rachel's way. And with Stingers running fourth and fifth, mm. this is a massive race for the Stingers. The flags are flying because if she did get up, and we believe, I think Graham's right, she did, they're going to fill first, third, fourth and fifth. They're going to fill their bag with points. And that throws us wide open tonight. So a real statement from the Stingers. So race number three, the race that just happened, 37 points for the Kuzulu Royals and 60 massive of points for my team, the Cape Stingers. Beautiful view from the top to see who gets away on terms, who gets slightly slow, who gets the best of the start, and uh, away they go. And Ice Kingdom Blitzen was very slow away, as was Red Spark. Those two well towards the rear of the field, but Ice Kingdom and Corne Orpha have raced away to the lead. But it's Eddie the Mover from Averni King. Music, his life is on the outside as they come inside the closing stages. But it is Eddie the Mover who's coming clear, and Eddie the Mover is going to win it. Eddie the Mover has beaten over Trio of oh, Royals runners, right. but Eddie the Mover has won it and won it well for Gareth Wright. So, the KwaZulu Natal Royals have finished back in second, third, and fourth, and uh, that will balance out the very fact that the Stinger has won. Then came another Stinger, another Stinger. So. If anything, the Stingers might just have extended their lead here. This is something that we're introducing, and it's fascinating, is just the, the speed of these equine animals. You touched on it, how quickly they go, and how brave the athletes are riding them. Uh, Greenback Currency is so far tonight the quickest horse. Still waiting for a couple of them to load up. 
Southern Cape has got in the first camp. They're all in. The six runners are dispatched from the 1600 meter starting gates. Southern Cape battling on well. Fateful day, the red cap towards the inside. But it's Spring High and it's Makara. But Spring High has the advantage over Makara and Southern Cape. And Spring High is going clear to win it. Spring High wins it, possibly back in second with Makara ahead of Southern Cape and then Fateful Day. So it's a big race for the Royals in a double up turbocharged affair. KZN Royal coming in first, third, and sixth. That is some really important double up points there. And then, of course, a Cape Stinger in second, fourth, and fifth. We're going to have a look in the next couple of seconds at the Night Rider competition, um, which is, of course, the best jockey of the evening. And, uh, of course, the Night Rider wins 30,000 Rand at the end of the competition. From there, we see Raymond from the uh, KZN Royals, 82 points for tonight. Cabello coming in with 61, and Rachel Vinica with 55 points. They so load up now for the lucky last the eighth and final race. This is the 24th race in the Global Team Horse Racing Series. We've got eight to come on Friday night, the 2nd of September. Into the starting stalls, 1,800 meters. Mark Conchow's wait. Now they go. Secret giver broke smartly enough. So did High Moon and Tom Bombadil. And Mark Khan is looking for a split. There's nowhere for him to go on Secret Giver. He's run out of room. It's out in front now still. Teichman, Teichman. Down towards the inside, running on very strongly is Tom Bombadil, one of the big outsiders. And Tom Bombadil has come through to cause a major upset. And Tom Bombadil for Jeffrey Seister is going to win it eventually. Secret giver came through, found a gap to run second. But it's a clear win. It's a clear win for one of the longer shots in the race. It's a clear win for Tom Bombadil. There's the official result. As you can see, Tom Bombadil winning at Secret Giver second, High Moon third, Cesura fourth. We had a good night tonight, obviously, as you can see. We beat uh, Cape Singers by 100 points. I mean, of all the, the, the series that we've been racing lately, I don't see we've been seeing a margin like that. But it was good fun, like always. Um, we're always on the edge of our seats. Obviously, big thanks to my team again. Um, that's why I forgot about this, um, because it is a team effort. And yeah, I'm just blessed. Uh, obviously, all glory to God, and thanks a lot. Well, congratulations. We'll see you again on the 2nd of September. You could be taking the final overall, so we'll have to wait and see, but good luck for the rest of the meetings. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I hope we, we draw some nice rides, and I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Um, tune in for it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your night rider, Raymond Danielson. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Very sir. big congratulations to Raymond Danielson taking that prize. And as you can see on your screens right now, the 2nd of September is the finals. The KZN Royals take on the Cape Stingers, and it's definitely going to be an exciting Evening, Alex. I'm going to have to get between the two of you ladies again, but congratulations to your teams. Thank and, uh, you so much, I know Alex. the Kauteng Kojimas at home <laughs> are missing out, but so the Quasula Royals and the Cape Sting is incredible. Well, that brings us to the end of this evening's program. We will see you again on the 2nd of September. Come down to Greyville. Come enjoy this. I mean, it is Durban. It is the warmest place to be. From myself, Kuragangia, and the GTH team, we'll see you on the 2nd of September.